Hey YouTube, this is Alexander, and today I'll be giving you my Google I.O. 2015 predictions, which will also serve as sort of a roundup of the rumors that we've been hearing over the past months, weeks, days. Uh, sort of like I did last year, in case you guys watched that. Wow, it's already been a year. I went by freaking quick. Anyway, um, before I go ahead and get right on into it though, I want to let you guys know that I'll actually have a short announcement at the end of this video. Uh, just sort of a small update about the channel over the next two weeks. So if you guys want to hear that, be sure to stick around till the end. Or I guess you guys could in theory just skip to the end. But why would you guys want to do that? I mean, you clicked for my thoughts. Anyway, let's go ahead and get right on into it. So as mentioned, Google's annual developer conference is just around the corner. Actually, it's uh, 22 hours, 15 minutes and 16 seconds away as of the Google I.O. official counter here. Um, so there haven't been actually a lot of leaks, I don't think, but there have been a few that I wanted to go ahead and talk about. So the first one is actually photos or the photos leak. So earlier this year at MWC, Senior Vice President of Products over at Google, Sundar Pichai, uh, confirmed the splitting of Google Plus. So basically he said it's gonna be split into three key areas. We're gonna have kind of a Google Plus stream sort of thing, the network side of it. We'll have photos, which is going to exist as a separate entity, which I'll talk about since there have been a bunch of leaks uh, as of late, and then Hangouts, which will serve as the communication method or tool. Now, he also mentioned during that interview at MWC that we'll see a renewed interest in uh, Hangouts. So I really hope that they stick to that and I hope it's true. It wasn't just, you know, talk or, you know, babbling. Let's go ahead and get right into photos though. So photos has been leaked quite a bit in the past, I think, week or so uh, to Android Police. They've got some exclusive leaks uh, and I'll have a link down below in the description to their site uh, where they have these, uh, all these leaks so you guys can go and check it out for yourself. But basically we're seeing a more organized or what appears to be a more organized interface for photos. Uh, it's definitely split, I believe, from Google Plus. It's just its own standalone app, which is really cool. Um, and it's got some new features, which I'm looking forward to having. But anyway, I'm just looking forward to the standalone photos app. I think it'll look a lot better than the current uh, photos app. So next up is Android M, which is the thing that we're probably all most excited for. I know I am personally. Whenever I hear that this is going to be a new Android version released, I get super stoked and kind of giddy about it. I want to know what Google is going to have for us uh, in the next update. But anyway, there hasn't been too much info on this update. Uh, it's been kind of sparse on that front, but it's internally known as Macadamia Nut Cookie. So they always have an internal code name. I think Android L is Lemon Meringue Pie, or maybe they just kept Android L. I don't remember. Uh, Kit Kat was Key Lime Pie, and then they changed it. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they actually just kept it, since Google has been known to troll us in the past like that. But I also wouldn't be surprised if they changed the name. I'm personally looking forward to or thinking it's going to be Android Muffin or uh, Marshmallow. Uh, but let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Let me know if you guys want it to be either one of those two or something else, I'd love to go ahead and read those. But yeah, anyway, as far as features go, uh, rumors are saying that we're gonna have more granular control over the permissions that the apps have uh, when installing them or probably after the fact of installing them as well. So for example, if you wanted to, for some random reason, install Facebook, uh, you could go ahead and control whether or not it has access to your location, whether it has access to your camera, your photos, uh, the internet, all that good stuff, uh, like the permission show when you first install it, which would be pretty nice. I'm not sure if this will actually make it into the final version. I think this was also rumored for Android 4.4, and I think it was actually there for a brief moment in history. It was actually there where you could change the controls uh, in these settings, uh, but that would be really cool if they actually did implement that. So we also have rumors that Android M is going to come with baked in support for a fingerprint scanner. Now, I don't know if you guys remember on the Nexus 6, uh, it was actually rumored that it was going to have one right here where the M logo was, and then it became publicly known, I think it was Dennis Woodside, the former CEO of Motorola, actually said in an interview that this was actually supposed to be uh, a fingerprint scanner, but they couldn't get the technology to work the way that they wanted it to, so they ditched it the last minute and just went with the dimple. Uh, so I would be pretty excited for a fingerprint scanner <coughs> um, next Nexus. Now finally, there's also the claim that they're going to have a renewed focus on battery life and performance, although 
that's pretty much you know something that they focus on every update. I don't know of an update where they don't focus on battery life and performance. Uh, even thinking back to Froyo, which was released 2010, I think uh, they had a demo on Google at Google I/O on stage of the Nexus One uh, versus a Nexus One running uh, Eclair, and they were doing this frames per second video demo of showing how much better the performance is on Froyo versus Eclair. I'll see if I can find that video. If I can, I'll have a link down below so you guys can check it out. Uh, but yeah, they they you know basically focus on it every update. So I wouldn't be too ecstatic to hear that. I hope they do uh, definitely focus on battery life uh, with Project Volta because they apparently were going to do some great things with Project Volta, and it doesn't seem like it really has done a whole lot for a lot of users. So I'm kind of excited to see that if they do you know mention a, a new Project Volta version two or something like that, uh, that would be pretty cool. I'd be excited for that. And then also there's apparently going to be some kids stuff. Uh, so kind of like how Samsung has a kids mode on their tablets and phones. I think they do on their phones or Galaxy Note phones anyway, I think. Um, that'd be kind of cool. I don't have a kid, so I'm not super excited about that. But if you guys do, that might be cool for you. Now, apparently, they're also going to make some Internet of Things announcement. I really don't know what that would be. Uh, I think I heard or read somewhere software is what they're going to focus on. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if they also announced hardware alongside that where basically more things are connected to the internet and you know you can control things from your smartphone uh, while you're out and about or at home on the same Wi-Fi network uh, you know your your uh, front door lock your maybe windows your lights your I don't know whatever your refrigerator whatever you, you name it um, so I wouldn't be surprised to see that but I'm not super excited about it I guess I could say so lastly, I wouldn't be surprised if we heard an announcement or two on new hardware. So what I mean by that is the Chromecast. Now, I think the current version of the Chromecast is two years old or so. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised to hear something new about it. Maybe a Chromecast version two or new Chromecast or just Chromecast 2015 or whatever the heck they decide to name it, just Chromecast. And finally, this isn't really Google I.O. stuff, but apparently they're not going to have a new tablet. Uh, and there are going to instead be two new Nexus phones, so two Nexuses. Uh, basically a Nexus 5 2015 with a 5.2 inch display that is made by LG and then a bigger Nexus 6, I guess 2015 also, I don't know what the heck they would name it, um, but it would apparently be made by a Huawei, I think I heard, and uh, have a 5.7 inch display, so slightly smaller than the current version um, but yeah, there's apparently going to be two new Nexuses, um, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. It seems kind of like a departure from their uh, usual, you know, this is a developer device because I feel like if they have two, they might be able to market one as a developer device and then the other as a consumer device, which we've been kind of, at least I have, hoping for them to hit the consumer market and actually push the Nexus phone, uh, but they haven't really done that. But anyway, I don't know if they're going to, not really Google I.O. stuff, but something I thought I'd mention. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Those were my predictions for Google I.O. 2015. Let me know what you guys think we're going to see with a comment down below. I'd love to go through and read them and respond to a few. But yeah, onto that quick announcement. So I'll be gone starting Saturday for about two weeks or so. Um, now I'll have one more video on Friday. I've got one more plan for Friday. Big guess on what that is. Um, but yeah, and then after that, I won't be here. So uh, don't worry though, I've got some videos. If you guys are following me on Snapchat, you'd seen. Uh, I have some videos ready, lined up, ready to go um, for when I'm gone. So you guys can still get content from me, new content when I'm gone. Uh, and if you guys want to catch up with what I'm doing, make sure to follow me on Google+, Twitter, Instagram, and especially uh, Snapchat and Periscope. Those last two, Periscope, basically live streaming. I plan to go to a couple different places. I'm not yet sure where exactly but I plan to go to a few different places so if you guys want to catch up with me in real time and see what I'm doing I'd love to share with you so make sure to follow me on Periscope and then snapchat you know of course for those pictures and videos uh, but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did be sure to hit that like button subscribe down there for more and don't forget to follow me like I said on Google Plus Twitter Instagram snapchat and Periscope all the links will be down below I'll catch you guys in the next one peace uh, the messenger the mess the Messages app has actually gotten more love uh, in terms of updates and features. That's my phone. Okay, I probably should have done that. Okay. Hey YouTube, this is Alexander, and today I'll be giving you my 20. My 20? No, that's. <clears throat> so basically, he said it's going to be split into three key, key, uh, key areas. We might see a new version of the existing Chromecast because I think the one that is currently available for, I think it's $35, is. Um,
bring that up just now. Oh. 